Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Ravita Papa Programming. So uh, in the last session we were discussing about the abstraction. So the first way of achieving the abstraction is we could uh, use the interfaces. So interfaces give you, you know, the complete control over the abstraction because uh, we don't implement anything uh, inside any interface. Uh, whatever the class is going to implement that particular interface, that particular class is going to implement the business logic of that uh, method. So, for example, if I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, declare declare an interface, I will say, so public interface or the normal interface, let's say, uh, parent class, parent interface, Right, and I'm saying uh, void public void. Uh, let's say the parent method, and I'm not declaring anything. I'm just I just put in the method signature. So if I'm implementing this uh, interface public class child test implements parent interface. Now this class has to implement the, the method of the parent interface so for that i will use the annotation Anno annotation itself a vast topic i will uh, you know discuss it later on but for now for the understanding of it, just you just uh, you know uh, uh, remember this annotation uh, this whatever the, you know uh, the name i will start with the at the rate and uppercase that is the usually the annotation so override public void parent method right now i will implement it here so let's say not public class simply class system dot out dot print ln This is first implementation. Right, so this is the first implementation. So I will write one of the class to test all these uh, public class test. public static void main string yes so i'm saying is like child test child test equal to new child test and I'm calling this method child test dot parent method right, and saving this so this is going to be the test dot java I'll save it Okay, there is already one class with the test name, so let me make it test2. Test, I have to change it here as well. CMD, CD, CD, Java programs, test to Java C. Test two dot Java. 
cannot find symbol where even how to print the stream okay print method print take the location of this save as java examples cd cd for examples java c test2 dot java java test2 right so this is how it works what if i will not implement this method let me comment this let's say what say during the compilation so the error is ch child test is not abstract right it does not override the abstract method parameter in the parentheses and cannot find the symbol so obviously if you will not implement you know the the method which is in uh, parent inter interface and you are implementing into the class and if you are not implementing it here it will give the error so you have to do it like this i could create you know, another class and i will say that that is the flavor 2 parent interface let's say child 2 second implementation right and what i'm saying is i'm just copy pasting this method the only difference will be the the object this object of this particular class right right so so you can see that the interface is one right the method name is one but there is a different flavor in the different class when you know particular class is implementing that interface so this is how you could actually you know uh, tell in a big project or in a big organization that okay this is what i want and you have to implement your business logic as per me so they are you know they will not deviate from uh, you know uh, the 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 kind of project or the you know kind of uh, functionality that you want to give so that's why we you know have this uh, interface so it will give you a complete abstraction that whatever is you know going inside this particular first implementation this particular class 2 right child test 2 class will never know and whatever the implementation this uh, child test 2 has this particular child test you know the uh, class or whoever is implementing in his in his particular module is not never going to know but what they both of them knows that the method name is the parent method and there is i mean some some kind of functionality that they are going to give this is the end of this video please comment like share and subscribe for the more videos like this i will see you in the next video with another interesting topic thank you for watching